Embrace the cold schism to keep you from the other side and make you a victim of thoughts uncontrollable racing through and continuous. This is irrevocable, so don't act so insidious. Dynamic means put together rhymes to stop time. Vision is the future only seen through far lines. We're blind, but still don't attempt to unwind. It's hot, strung tightly, up finale and kind. This is where we've come over years of spilled blood. A society that's numb to the ever impending flood. And don't deny the sacrifice of those who tread mud through the whole ordeal. I am clean as soap suds, blatantly the other way Nothing more is left to say about a topic misconstrued in all our day to day And presently I detest the facts but lack sense So I base my decision on present and past tense Future's an anomaly Plans of lost causes, I'm inspired by a muse Whose gifts with thought flawless, but don't get caught lawless Cause we'll soon start the harvest When the stars align, to form the zodiac taurus Entranced in my words, you find yourself in a dream With skills so profound, I'm busting loose at the seams Until I'm stripped of my clothes And a crown made of thorns has been placed on my head But it was long ago born So I assume the position of a tank card collision The big vanity true, but I will make no decision To incriminate or discriminate So keep wishing that one day you'll be part Part of a global coalition Get loose and get crucified Cerebellum has been stupefied One more toke and your brain is fried Not something I can deny Staring deep into the hollow eyes Of a person's face Ridicule the way I live my life Leave me out of place Out of touch and out of sobriety And the tension that I grope Send signals that can fight in me So I figure why not It's just a piece of paper Mind your madness understatement I would soon discover later Senses acute Feel liberated and free Eyes wide shut There's so much more now to see A vivid Image inscribed just to rotate my visual Wind blowing me around and forces to trip you have reached magnetic forces All of which stand beside grain of sand between the ocean Ultraviolet light that shines deep inside Chasm of spaces only where you tend to hide In your hermit crab location Step outside, see the world It's not quite what you'd expect Staring under orbital spin Rotating continuously here and throughout Need to end just to begin and commence Fluorescent migration It consumes you and energizes your soul but ten times the rabbit come outside, pay the toll And all around meltdowns have been senses in sight Don't try to fight now, just genuflect in the night As the first wave washes over me, I feel so at ease For starters, relaxing and the sounds are bringing me to peace Stay mind so soothing, what my mind starts to see It's half mass, my focus easier to perceive Parallel force of entry, let it slowly take hold Wait what seems like a century and the fire feels cold Embarking on a journey with no needed introduction I force release the lyrics, overlap the beat production Mentally in tune, but with a myriad of decibels Audio obstruction and the rhythm is untestable Got a firm grip on your attention, no thoughts of letting go But if that was my intention, then the process would be slow And steadily rise to the point of supernova Rearrange the pattern structure, turn the whole ensemble over Hypnotic sounds to meditate and alleviate the pressure Feeling down, height in your state, the lyrical confessor With a single goal in mind, similar to divination Giving vision to the blind and the lost of destination Magnetic forces, all of which stand beside grain of sand between the ocean. Ultraviolet light. January 19th, 2017. Guys, there's information coming out that correlates with what we've been talking about for several years now, and it's coming from a trio of swarm satellites that were launched in 2013. You're looking at an image of this. Now, what they were set up to do was fly around the planet and measure our shields, the Earth's magnetic field. And they measure it from what's coming f from uh, outer space into the uh, top or the northern side of our magnetic field and passes through the core of the Earth, then out the other side. And what they are using now with the technology above these three, uh, aboard the three satellites, guys, is the, the ability to measure the magnetic field inside the Earth's core. And now they're saying that uh, we're getting what's called a jet stream in the outer core of the earth. And what the outer core guys is the area that's surrounding the inner core that's molten lava. What they're doing now is they're showing that that inner core is speeding up. Now, when you have this happen, the dynamo, which is the inside of the earth is like an electric motor 
that uses magnets. As it spins and creates electricity, it creates a magnetic field. Now, let me just back up a minute. As we go into solar minimums, we see the magnetic field of the Earth weaken. That exposes us not to solar radiation, but to external radiation, guys, from outside of our atmosphere. Now, what we're seeing in this new study that's coming in now, even though they were launched in 2013, just a month ago, we're getting the latest data, is showing that the core, the stream, or the jet stream is what they're calling it, of the inner core is speeding up. Now, why would that occur during a solar minimum? We're seeing a perfect balance in some ways, and let me explain that. What we're seeing is about a nine-day pattern or so of these coronal holes or these large openings in the magnetic canopy of the sun, and that allows the solar stream to pour towards our planet. We're seeing it now, 600 kilometers per second. A solar winds doubling in the usual speed, and it's been going on in cycles for the last couple of months. So what we're seeing is in God's perfect balance in one study is the fact that because we're going into a solar minimum as far as sunspots, coronal mass ejections, that the earth, the sun is making up for that in a sense by cre the coronal holes being created. And what we're seeing is energy being fed through these high solar wind speeds into the core of the Earth. Now, since 2013, the jet stream that's flowing around the core has sped up. What does that mean? It's Now, you say, well, tw uh, at the speed that they're talking about, which is 25 miles an hour, you say, well, that's not that fast. But you're talking about something that's thousands of kilometers thick. And when you're talking about planetary movement you see uh, the fault zones move at millimeters per year not kilometers which you 25 miles you're roughly over uh, 40 kilometers per year and that again has sped up so what we're seeing is a perfect balance between solar minimum and the sun's uh, creation of the coronal holes increasing the amount of energy applied to the core of the planet increasing the uh, electric field that is our shields. In other words, making up for the solar minimum. And uh, while it is uh, increasing the shields and protecting us from cosmic radiation, not solar radiation. Now, <clears throat> let me read a little bit about this. It says, measuring the magnetic field is one of the few ways we can look deep inside our planet. This is Chris Finley from the Technical University of Denmark. He says, we know more about the sun than Earth's core because the sun is not hidden from us by 300 kilometers of rock. Now, that's true, but we're dealing with the outer core, this flow of liquid iron. The field or the magnetic field uh, exists because of an ocean of superheated, swirling liquid iron that makes up the outer core like a spinning conductor in a bicycle dynamo or any dynamo, this moving iron creates electrical currents, which in turn generate our continuously changing magnetic field. And we've seen that. It goes on to say that tracking changes in the magnetic field can therefore tell researchers how the iron in the core moves. The accurate measurements by the unique constellation of the three swarm satellites allow the different sources of magnetism to be separated, making the contribution from the core much clearer. Now, this new article, and this is new to science, says a paper published in Nature's Geoscience described how swarms' measurements have led to the discovery of a jet stream in the core. Phil Livermore from the University of Leeds in the UK and lead author of the paper says, thanks to the mission, we have gained new insights into the dynamics of Earth's core, and it's the first time this jet stream has been seen, and not only that, we also understand why it's there. We'll see. One feature is a pattern of flux patches in the northern hemisphere, mostly under Alaska and Siberia. Just had a big volcano going off in Alaska. These high-latitude flux patches are like bright spots in the magnetic field, and they can make it easy to see changes in the field. In other words, they see these spikes and these peaks. 
three satellites have revealed that these changes are actually a jet stream moving at more than 40 kilometers a year, 25 miles an hour, roughly three times faster than the typical outer core and hundreds of thousands of times faster than the Earth's tectonic plate movement. We can explain it as an acceleration in a band of core, fluid circling the pole like the jet stream in the atmosphere. And he says, what's causing this jet stream and why is it speeding up so quickly? The jet flows along a boundary between two different regions in the core. When material in the liquid core moves toward the boundary from both sides, as anything does when it speeds up, the converging liquid is squeezed out sideways forming this jet. Now there's another study and another analysis. Let's look at this because we are in changing times. We know this earth will be shaken. But uh, this group says observations of the change in earth's magnetic field called the secular variation, provide information about the motion of liquid metal within the core that is responsible for the uh, magnetic field generation. That's what we've always talked about. Let me just straighten this out. It's not within the core, it's the outer core. High resolution observations from the Eurospace Agency Swarm Satellite, again, they're using that data, show intense field change at high latitude. Localized in a distinctive circular chain configuration centered on the North Geographic Pole. Again, Siberia, remember, and Alaska. A westward jet of 420 kilometers width is circulating the fluid within the core. It's aligned with the rotation axis and the tangent to the solid inner core. It's moving the same direction as the planet. We find the jet has increased in a magnitude again by a factor of three over the period from 2000 to 2016 and is now much stronger than typical large-scale flows inferred by the core. We suggest that the current accelerating phase may be part of a longer-term fluctuation of the jet causing both eastward listen, and westward movement of magnetic features over historical periods and may contribute to recent changes in the torsal wave activity and the rotation direction of the inner core. Guys, do you understand what that means in layman's terms? It's a magnetic flip. They're talking about historical periods, and that's when they've seen it in the magma flows of uh, when we had a magnetic change, a magnetic flip of the planet. And when you talk about recent changes in the torsal wave activity and the rotation direction of the inner core guys that's separating itself from the outer core of the crust the earth will be shaken and that's what this study is showing now as we get more information from this guys i will update it it's uh very important because this new study that's just a month old is pointing exactly to the things we've been looking at and it makes perfect sense and we've got two different views and i happen to agree with both of them in this case both that the uh that it's speeding up and even though they're not saying it i'm saying it it's because of these coronal holes that are giving this 700 kilometer plus uh, solar wind stream it's God's way of balancing out the solar minimum because of the galactic ray input or the cosmic ray input that we're going through, through this giant gas of helium, a giant gas cloud of helium, let me say that. And also that the earthquakes and the volcanoes are because of this change in the torsal wave activity. Google that and the, rot and the rotation direction of the inner core. When that changes, guys, everything changes. That can even indicate something more than a magnetic field change or a magnetic flip. We're talking about physically changing the poles. We're watching it. It's a heads up. Be safe.